Thank you, Madam President. Um, when we in this chamber two years ago took a bold step to reform and strengthen the laws against sexual harassment in the workplace, we did so with a glaring exception. We carved out from the protections of the state's human rights law the very people who work for members of the legislative branch, members of the executive branch, and members of the judicial branch. But today, we are going to be righting that wrong by passing this bill to put a stop to the license to harass that elected officials and judges have exercised in New York State for far too long. We know that the power imbalances that exist in politics and government uh, have existed for many, many years. It has been well documented uh, in newspaper stories and in the personal experiences and testimonials of people who have come forward to share their stories of what's happened to them while working in the halls of power. An exception to sexual harassment laws for elected officials and employees runs completely counter to the efforts to root out, combat, and deter harassment in government. Survivors of sexual harassment should not be gaslighted by the legal system. This law will make it crystal clear that employees of elected officials of every branch of government and of judges work for the very institutions that send them their paychecks, that give them their benefits, that give them everything, that make them employees of that branch. It's amazing that we've had to do this. This should have been done years ago when we strengthened our laws, but I'm glad to see that we are taking these steps today. And we would not be here were it not for the courageous stories uh, of members and of survivors who have come forward to, to share with us and shine light on what they experienced, some working in the halls of this building about their pain and suffering that are leading us to this step today, and I proudly cast my vote aye. Thank you.